Hello, I'm going to try and show you how I did the pixelated filter I did in my last video. I'll start by creating a universal render pipeline uh, Unity project. Next, I'll set up a new scene. Now I'll add some objects so I can actually see what I'm doing. That should be fine. Next, I'll go to the forward renderer in the settings of the URP. Then I'll just create. And then I go rendering, universal render pipeline. And then I go render feature. And I'll just leave it as its default name just because it's easier. Then I shall add it to the forward renderer by going add feature and then add the custom one that you just created and it'll be empty until we uh, code some things inside of it. Next we'll open up this, the render pass feature that we've made. And it's opened up over on this screen. Here we go. And here it is. Now I'm just going to get rid of all the commented sections just so it's easier to see. A little bit annoying, but it can be useful sometimes. Now time to add the code. Um, I already have it typed out, so I'll just paste it in. You can pause the video and see what I add in. And follow along. Um, here, I just keep adding, um, why do I have an error? Oh, it's because down here, uh, I'll get to that. Um, I don't need the configure. Um, inside the execute, I'll grab this, and then add this. Oh, be careful not to go too fast, so you can copy it. Don't need the frame cleanup either. Um, below that, we do need uh, these two, the settings class, and put it above this um, scriptable pass. I just added these. Make sure you have the system dot serializable too. And below that, make sure you change this line and then add in settings.material into here in between the brackets and for this make sure you change this to before entering post processing and I'm sure you could um, change that but uh, this one seems to work for me best and lastly um, make sure you add this in add render passes. And that should be it, I believe. Now, in the forward renderer, as you can see, there are settings. We need to add a material here, and we'll create that now in shader graph. I'm going to go and create a new folder called shaders, just because it's easier to find that way create um, shader and then I'll go unlit graph I'll call it this underscore uh, pixelated and we'll open that up and here we are make sure uh, you can see everything oops there we go hide those away to make things look easier easier to see and then, this part's important, you need to add a texture 2D, um, I'll just leave the name as is, and then make sure exposed is turned off. Under reference, make sure it's underscore camera opaque texture, and it looks exactly like this. And um, drag that in, and make sure it looks like that. And while we're at it, we might as well add the uh, scaling, scaling vector one here. Um, I'll 
make the I'll change this into a slider. Make the default like something 0.01 just so it's easier to uh, slide between and 0.2 and also so it doesn't go to zero. I'll make the default point two. Sure, why not? I'll save it just for now, just to be sure. First I'll add the screen node. I don't know if I zoom in on it, I have width and height. That's very useful. Um, I'll add the scaling node as well. And if I multiply, multiply them both, um, connect these. Uh, and if I do another multiply for the height, um, add this here too, actually. I want this to be on the bottom one, just because it's neater. <laughs> um, then you combine these. Um, this is so. That's in, that's in the alpha. Add this to the or and add this to the G because this is um the I suppose X and Y. And um, this is for the screen resolution so that the each pixel, the square pixel, scales properly and they're not like rectangular or anything. Um, then I'll just drag the or G into a tiling and offset. Um, drag it into a tiling. And um, drag a screen position. Uh, position. And drag that into the UV. And there we go. The texture can move over to the right a bit. Um, next, you need to add a floor to the tiling and offset. So floor. Um, this is for like rounding. And then um, floor goes into a divide. Uh, yeah. And then drag the... Ooh. I can just move all of these up a bit. And move the texture over. And drag the RG into the divide here, I believe. I'll make that down a bit just so it's neater. Um, let me save that just for now. Um, I might as well create a sample texture from this. Uh, and then drag this into the UV. And then drag the RGBA into the color. I save that. Oh, and don't forget to make this transparent. Um, you need that on as well. Don't forget about that. Now we'll go over here. Um, add some materials here. Um, let's create a material. Material, I'll call it M uh, pixelate, pixelated, just like the shader. And I'll change the shader to shader graphs pixelated. And um, well, why is the uh, why can't I scale it? Um, let's see. Oh, it's because it only has. Oh, well, um, I'm. Silly me. Uh, 0 0.01, I believe. I think that's what I said. Uh, and now, yeah, you can change it. That's good. Now we'll go back to the settings under the forward renderer. And it says it asks for an. Sorry about that. My PC uh, storage ran out of space. Um, anyway, um, drag the material over here. And, oh, that went a bit funky. Um, what's happening here? Oh yeah, um, it's gonna, uh, the render pass feature we coded, that's gonna render over every camera. Um, so it might be a bit funky if you want to work on some things, you can code that out though. You know what, I just realized my mistake, I dragged the skybox, um, into the forward render. I didn't drag the pixelated material we made, so whoopsie. Um, as you can see in scene view, there it is. It's uh, it's all pixelated. Um, 
we go to the actual oops we go here to the shader i mean the material we can change it um if we run it to um as you can see it's still you know the same uh, if i move this hey it works um can change this up and down to get the um, like scale of pixels. Um, I think it looks very cool. Um, you can also raise uh, this above 0.2, but you know, above that it just looks. Uh, I don't know, it just looks normal really. So I don't see the point of it. See if I have it way up here, it looks. As it normally does and then it's harder to scale it perfectly so that's why i leave it at point two or somewhere around there it looks fine and then yeah um that's that one done anyway that's for my second one i'm gonna have to go ahead and turn this back off um just so i can see what i'm doing better make it a bit confused at some points um, because uh, it's a bit of a confusing process um, but let's add layers to the objects you want pixelated so I'll call this layer I don't know, pixel nice and simple and then I'll add it okay add them to the layer and now they're on the pixel layer if I go to cube they're on layer pixel um, that seems good Next, I'm going to have to go ahead and add another camera. I'll add it below the main camera and I'll call it... Uh, um, I'll call it second, secondary camera. Um, that seems... Uh, seems all good. I'll make sure the settings are the same as... Um, the main one like the FOV and stuff because then it'll look a bit weird um, just to be sure I'll uh, copy the transform as well and paste it just um, so they're in the same area next we need to create a render texture and just because I'm lazy I'm gonna add it to the materials folder and uh, render texture here we go um let's, let's call it pixel render texture um then we'll add or change the uh, size to the pixel size um what we'll do first we'll do uh, let's do use this for 90 because that's um 16 by 9, but you know, um, not as low as 16 pixels by 9 pixels because that will look um, really, really bad and low resolution. Um, I make it 16 by 9 because that's the aspect ratio of uh, 1080p, and that's what this game window um, aspect ratio is. So, just to make it look nicer, and that's the same way as the last step to make the um, pixels squares not rectangles or anything else that looks funny um to also make it better i i turn this off i'm not sure if this changes much um make sure anti aliasing off and changes uh not this one change this to point and um because this is uh you don't want it to be smoothed out or anything you just want it pixelated you know next let's drag the uh, the render texture onto the secondary camera um, into the output texture here. Also make sure in the secondary camera, um, I believe changes to uninitialized. Um, as you can see down here, uh, it, it has no skybox now. Also, um, while we're on the secondary camera, change the um, culling mask to uh, nothing except the pixel uh, layer as you can see in the preview down here it's just the two objects 
and uh, it stores the main camera. Um, change it to everything except the pixels, and they should vanish. Um, if we click down here, we can see, so like the objects are on a separate camera now, as you can see. Um, next, we shall add a canvas. Uh, canvas and then uh, a raw image onto here um, let's scale it to fit and by holding alt you can make it fit the whole screen um, and drag the what is it, pixel uh, render texture onto the raw image and I believe that's it I gotta check if I'm, I've done everything right um yeah looks looks about right um if we go down to the pixel uh, uh actually if we go into this camera yeah we have an extra audio listener um, let's remove that main camera let's add the uh because i get a camera controller um uh with like when you start up uh URP, you get a camera controller, and um, I believe if we play, uh, whoop, that's not right. Um, I guess we'll have to lock the secondary camera rotation to the main camera. Maybe we could just uh, add the secondary camera under there, and then maybe not have the canvas up inside the secondary camera because that doesn't seem like a good idea. Um, if we run now, ah, there we go. The secondary camera is rotating with the main camera. So when we look around, um, the these two objects are pixelated. Um, and to prove it's not some trick or anything, um, actually, I could just uh, can I select these? Yeah, I can just duplicate them. Just Control D, move them over. And move them. Actually, I'll just keep. I'll just move the sphere closer so you can see it better. Off of these two, can I select it, please? The sphere. Okay, good. I changed to like default or something. As you can see, uh, these two are pixelated, and the default ones are not. Pretty big issue with this though is that right over here, well, it seems to be all fine. Um, but when anything is in front of it, it kind of breaks. I um, haven't figured out how to fix this yet. And if I do, also, there's no shadows. But if I do figure out how to fix it, I'll just uh, make an add on video. And that's that. Thank you for watching.